Happy Holidays everyone, Goatworm here, and in this video I made a Pokemon team of Holiday and Ice-type Pokemon. With that, let's get right into it. Alright, so here we are in our first match. This time around I went with Double Battles, and that way I can use Obama Snow and Ninetales for a Snow Warning as well as a Aurora Veil. So my Obama Snow set is as followed. It's a Blizzard, Giga Drain, Earth Power, and Leech Seed with max special attack and speed with the icy, icy stone that way I can maximize the snow and nine tails is aurora veil blizzard dazzling gleam and encore with a light play to maximize the aurora veil and it has max speed and then split defenses so here i'm able to get up the aurora veil after taking the fake out from the weavile um, it did knock off my uh, item so I'd no longer have the eight turns for Aurora Veil. This Primeape's also worrying me as it does have a bulk up for a boosted attack. So I'm gonna go for a Blizzard to try to get a freeze on the uh, Annihilate. The Brick Break gets rid of my Aurora Veil too so it's not looking very good at the very beginning. I'm already down one Pokemon. I do do some damage with the uh, Dazzling Gleam that is super effective against both both Pokemon, um, but still not, not looking very good. This Ninetales also has the uh, Snow Quote as well, so that way I can uh, avoid, avoid uh, some attacks in the snow. So this Delibird now, Delibird ha is a physical Delibird with Present, Fake Out, Brave Bird, and Destiny Bond with Hustle. So that's why the the Fake Out miss is because of the Hustle. Delibird barely lives uh, against the Annihilate. And so I think now is a good time to try to go for the Destiny Bond. Hoping either this new Pokemon, which is the Ogre Pond, or the Annihilate hits me. Because that Annihilate is a pretty big threat right now with its boosted attack and defense. I'm able to get the Aurora Veil back up, try to boost some of my resistance against their special and physical moves, but that doesn't really help Ninetales out too much as the Ogre Pond just annihilates my Ninetales. Here I go with the Destiny Bond, hoping to take down at least the Annihilate with me. Which I do get lucky, they do go for the Drain Punch and take me out. That little HP boost they got doesn't matter because they're coming down with me. So now I have two more Pokemon that I have to put in. So I'm going to go Baxcalibur and Kaigonal. So my Baxcalibur is a physical uh, set with Glaive Rush, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, and Icicle Speed. With a Focus Sash, that way I have time to set up the Dragon Dance. And my Krygonal, this is also more of like a bulky uh, setter. With Rapid Spin, Chilling Water to decrease uh, physical attacks, Freeze Dry for water types, and then Recover. They're gonna, they're gonna terrestrialize their Ogre Pond, get a uh, attack boost. So I'm gonna try to wear down on this with Chilling Water just to try to drop as much uh, the attack as I can. And then for my Baxcalibur, I'm gonna go in for the Dragon Dance, because I just wanna try to boost up its attack as much as I can. And Krygon only just gets obliterated by the Ogre Pond too. It is not looking good right now. I believe I'm down to my last two Pokemon, which is the Baxcalibur and Stantler, who's gonna be coming in next. So I am able to get the Dragon Dance off and survive the Flash Cannon. And now my last Pokemon, Stantler, is a physical set with Choice Band, Trick, Zen Headbutt, Thrash, and Thief. I'm going to go here for the Earthquakes, I know it's super effective against both of their Pokemon and I believed my Stantler would survive. So I'm able to take out the Ogre Pond and I went in for a Thrash with the Stantler. And that is able to take out their Deidre. So now I believe it's our last two Pokemon on each side. 
and I'm in a pretty decent spot here. I have my my speed and attack boost from the Vax Caliber, and Stantler is locked into the Thrash. So here I'm locked in the Thrash, so that's going to hit whatever Pokemon um, it chooses. And with my Vax Caliber, I'm going to go in for the Icicle Spear and hit that Great Tusk. I am lucky and I get 4 hits which takes it out, anything less then I would have been down to a 1v2 possibly. So I take that out, their Gardevoir is going to take out my Vax Caliber with a Moonblast and so now it's just 1v1, I still have a Thrash, I'm hoping that due to my max attack, plus choice band and Thrash, and that is a 1 hit KO and that is our first match. So in the second match, the angle is going to be a little bit different because my file ended up uh, getting corrupted. But luckily, Norman was able to record it on his end. And so, in this one, I'm going to start off again with the Nine Tails and Obama Snow. They're going to go for a Sucker Punch. But luckily, I went for the Aurora Veil with my Nine Tails, so I don't have to worry about anything with that. And I'm also able to use Blizzard with Obama Snow, and I'm really just trying to go for uh, Freeze here. Just gonna believe it's like a 30% freeze. Their light screen is gonna be a little difficult with my first two Pokemon as I'm mainly special attackers here. They're gonna switch out their Sylveon just because they're assuming I went for something like uh, Encore, trying to lock them into that. And their uh, Bug Lee is going to use U turn to do some damage to Obama Snow and swap out. So in comes the Lucario, I'm a little nervous here because it's two Steel type Pokemon. Uh, so I know my Ice type moves like Blizzard isn't going to work very well, but I do get a freeze on the Empoleon which is great. So now I can go uh, a 2 on 1 for the time being. So I'm going for the, the double Blizzard just to try and uh, get another freeze on the Lucario. but. I do not get that, and they end up taking out my Obama Snow with a close combat. So I'm going to go into Stantler now, and I'm just going to start swapping around some of the items with Trick. Luckily, the Empoleon stays frozen, so it's still just a two-on-one. Bullet Punch does a pretty good damage, times four, but I am able to survive that and get off another Blizzard. I'm going to use Trick on the Lucario, that way it locks into one move and one move only. And I am able to get the Muscle Band off of the Lucario, so now all my moves that are super effective are going to get a little extra bonus. Empoleon, I think this is turn 3 now that Empoleon is frozen, so I'm lucking out there. And Bullet Punch is going to take out my Ninetales with the 50% uh, bonus. I'm going to go for the Zen Headbutt on Lucario. Their light screen is gone now, so I don't have to worry about... Um, the decrease in my special attacks. So the Empoleon after three turns uh, thaws out and they go for the Protect here. I'm assuming they thought I was going to uh, try to double up on the Empoleon, but I'm going to go in for a Fake Out. That way um, I don't get hit by any Rock type moves. I'm going to use Trick again. I'm going to try to get rid of um, Leftovers, which I assume, just because it's a pretty bulk, a bulky Pokemon here. So I'm going to go in for the Destiny Bond because I'm assuming they're going to um, hit my Deli Bird with some sort of rock type move. And I'm going to uh, swap the Life Orb off of my Deli Bird onto my Stantler. This way I can uh, preserve that, that Life Orb. 
So I was right, they are going to go for a uh, uh, rock type move against my Delibird, taking it out. But because of uh, Destiny Bond, I'm also take, able to take out the Garganacle. I'm bringing in my Bax Caliber because I have the Focus Sash here, so I feel like I should be able to get off of Dragon's Dance and uh, start sweeping some of their Pokemon. So here I go for that Dragon Dance, boost my attack and speed. And I'm also going to go for the Zen Headbutt against the uh, Sylveon, trying to get that flinch so that I can uh, try to sur or preserve that Focus Sash. They're going to go for a Steel Beam causing me to use that Focus Sash, so I'm really hoping for a flinch from the Sylveon, but I do not get it and they take out Bax Caliber with a Moon Blast. And now I'm going to be losing my defense from the Aurora Veil. So it's not looking the best for me right now. I'm going to bring in the Krygonal and with Krygonal, I was going to go for the Freeze Dry against the Empoleon, just trying to get that uh, super effective attack and stab, but they are able to pr uh, protect that. Going in for another Zen Headbutt against the Sylveon, and I'm able to take it out. Cute charm effects here, but it doesn't really matter as Sylveon faints. So they're bringing in their Bugly again. And they're going to Terra, or going to a Dark Terra type here. They're going to go for a Sucker Punch on my Krygonal here. And that does a pretty good amount of damage. I'm going to go for that freeze dry and take out that Empoleon. So I believe we are both down to our last two Pokemon. And my Stantler is going to go for a Thrash which is going to do pretty good damage with um, Stab and Max Attack. Taking out their uh, Low Kicks. So I believe this is the last Pokemon, which is the Metagross. So this Metagross, I believe Metagross is pretty bulky, physically speaking. So I was a little nervous about this. They're going to go for the Bullet Punch, taking out my Krygonal. Not looking good, as I'm locked into Thrash, and Thrash is not very effective against Metagross. So that's not going to do much of anything, so I'm a little worried here, as the Life Orb is taking out some of my HP. And uh, the Metagross, I believe, is a physical attack or two. And now I'm confused. So not looking great right now for me. They're going for a Meteor Mash, which luckily I avoid that. Um, that would have probably easily taken me out. They're, they go for the Bullet Punch. I barely survive here. So all I need to do is get through the confusion. And I do. And I'm able to hit Thief. So for max attack plus life orb and super effectiveness and able to take out the Metagross. And with that, thank you for as for watching. Here's my team um, I have up here if you guys want to replicate anything with, or replicate this team. Um, in the comments, please let me know what you would change with this team. And with that, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys again next time.